In this video, I will discuss the PADS Standard Plus Library Management Tool. PADS Standard Plus utilizes a central library that contains all of the symbols and footprints and can be accessed in either the schematic or the layout. In order to open the library tool, go to Tools, PADS Library Tools within DX Designer. Once the PADS Library Tool is open, on the left hand side of the screen in the navigator, you will see Parts, Decals, and Symbols. If we expand the Parts section, we will see all of the partitions in the library that we are currently working with. If I go down into the IC partition, we will see all of the part numbers that are in this library. Expand a part number and you can see all of the symbols and decals that are associated to that part number. If I single click on either the decal or the symbol, they will be opened in a preview only mode. Double clicking on either the symbol or the decal will allow us to edit the symbol or the decal. If I right click on the part number and click edit, this will open up the part editor. The part editor allows us to see the pin count and the gate count for this particular part number. Going to the PCB decals tab is where we can associate a decal to this part number. The Gates tab allows us to define symbols, and if we have a multiple gate part, we can define multiple gates here. In the Pins tab, we can look at all of the pin numbers and names. In order to create a new part, we will begin by creating a new symbol. To do this, expand the symbol section and right-click on the partition you want to put the symbol in. New Symbol will open up the Symbol Editor, and Symbol Wizard will open up the symbol wizard that has a more automated process. I will use the symbol editor in this demo and I name the symbol new symbol. Once the symbol editor is open we can begin by creating a new pin. On the right hand side of the screen we can name the pin whatever we would like and then once it is ready to be placed onto the schematic, we can just drag and drop. Also, we can import pins from an Excel file. I have created this Excel file for the pin names, numbers, and side that we would like the pins for this symbol to be on. In order to import this into the symbol editor, I will click on Import Pins and navigate to that .csv file. Notice how it brings all of the pins in from that Excel file. To place these pins, I will shift click to select the pins I want to place and drag them onto the schematic. Now I will do the same for the right hand side of the symbol. Once we have the pins placed, we now need to create a box around the pins. I'll select the rectangle icon on the toolbar and draw a rectangle around the pins. Now I will place the symbol on the origin. Once the symbol is complete, I can hit File Save and exit the symbol editor. Next, we will create a new decal for use in our new part. Again, expand the decals section and expand the partition you would like to place the decal in. Right mouse button click and hit New Decal. I will just name this decal New Decal. This will open up the decal editor in the Pads Layout tool. Within this tool, we can either place all of the pins by hand or use the decal wizard to create the decal from the datasheet properties. In order to get the decal wizard, right click on the toolbar and click on decal editing toolbar. Now click on the wizard icon. In the decal wizard, we can create different parts for quad, polar, BGA, and dual. I will create a dual inline package for this decal. Here, we can enter in all of the data that we can find on the part datasheet. If I change the pins to 22, it will automatically put two more pins onto the decal. Once we are happy with all of our properties, I can click OK. After the decal wizard has created the decal, if you wish, you can drag pins 
or any other object and change where they are located. Once you are happy with your decal, you can add more attributes on it if you would like. I go Edit Attribute Manager. Here we can add different attributes such as a height attribute. Once you are done with your decal, go File, Save As. Save it into the partition you would like. If there is no part number associated with this decal, it will ask you if you would like to create a new part type. I click on Yes. This will open up the Part Editor dialog box once again. Here, it already has the PCB decal associated. We do need to assign the gate, or the symbol, to this part now. I will search, and it automatically brings us to the New Part section. I can click on our new symbol and assign it to this decal. Now we go into the Pins tab, and we have to enter in a pin name for every pin. What we can do now is go back to our Excel sheet, copy all of the pin names, and paste them back into the Part Editor dialog box. Once this has been done, I can now click on Check Part in the bottom left hand side. If we have no warnings, we can now save the part into the partition of our choice. And now this part will be saved into our library. Now we can close the decal editor, and if we look back into the pads library tool, in the parts section under the test parts partition we will see our new part. If we expand this we can see that it has been associated with our new symbol and our new decal. Now to place it on the schematic I will close the library tool and go back into DX Designer. In order to get the part we have to go Tools Update Libraries so the tool will reread the libraries and get any changes that we have done. Now I will go into Data Book and look in our Test Parts section and see our new symbol. I can drag and drop this onto the schematic. In order to verify that it is correctly associated with our new decal, I will go View Other Windows Pad Decal Preview. This will open up the Pads Decal Preview window that shows us which decal the symbol is associated with. We have now successfully created a part in Pads. I hope this has helped your understanding in Pads Standard Plus Library Creation and Management.